In today's video, I'm going to show you how to beat Cover 3 match over the top for a one-play touchdown in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you've never been to my channel before, I run a Madden channel here on YouTube that posts four times every single day different tips and strategies that you can use to get better at the game and win more games. So if you are interested in looking to get better at Madden, I would highly, highly encourage you to go ahead and click that subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen and check the channel because we upload daily uh, Madden 21 tips and tricks all right guys so i just played a franchise game and i have to admit i was not ready for this game i ended up getting blown out uh, honestly and just got destroyed by my man mason uh, from the channel now if you haven't joined the cfm if you are looking to join a playstation 4 cfm we do have uh we are taking uh spots so just let me know if you want me to reserve you put you on the wait list or whatever uh, i'd love to do that we're also starting our xbox one up uh, we're probably going to do it maybe at the end of next week if not maybe a week and a half later i uh, just want to make sure i got all the details ironed out for that but this is cover three match and cover three match gives gives some issues especially the three by one formations because when you go three by one formations, it's a lot harder to hit this bomb to uh, Shepard. You'll see here that this is one of my favorite route combinations out of fade stops. But you see that see how the corner drops back? They've patched cover three match over the course of the season. And now cover three match, in my opinion, is a lot harder to bomb. Um, it's not just as simple as just throwing that one play touchdown. You'll see here, I'll put Devontae Adams on a smart routed out route. And I'm not even sure that this will work. But basically um cover three match and it does work with an out route here so um it's just interesting how out routes work for that but then for cover three sky you have to do something different but anyways i wanted to show you cover three match if you're running into someone that's using cover three match a lot what i would recommend doing is running basically a route swap so having some type of vertical route in combination with some type of post route and then just lobbing it up over the top and what you'll see here and i might have to put a faster uh a faster player right there but typically what's going to happen is that route is going to just cook. And uh, I'm going to show you two different versions of this. So from the gun spread wide slot, and I'm going to put my fastest wide receiver uh, in at this left slot. So I'm going to put Marquez Valdez Scantling on that side, and then uh, we'll, leave, we'll leave Devontae Adams right there. But we're going to come out in the play Z shallow. So Z shallow or um, the play Curl Wheel. We all know I love Curl Wheel. And you can get the full Arizona Cardinals scheme by checking out the ebook in the description. But what you'll see here is on the right side, it's kind of a similar story. Basically, that deep zone will go down, and then that wheel route will be left one-on-one. -on -one. Now, if you have speed, if you have a speed advantage, that's where this is going to really, really make a big difference. So Curl Wheel on the left side, what you're going to see is Marquez Valdez scaling. That's what we're looking for right there. See how he basically tries to go guard the curl route? He can't. And you're going to see we're going to be able to get up the seam and make a huge, huge gain. This is this is what I'm talking about. Now, on the right side, it's not going to work as good because we don't have as good as a, as good of a, um, a speed advantage as we'd want to. So we'll try it here, but you'll see that the speed advantage is not quite there. So you really have to you really have to kind of almost aggressively user it. And so I would recommend, you know, throwing it to where you have the speed advantage. Adrian Amos just has so much more speed than Mercedes Lewis. But on the left side, it's not exactly the case. And we could run, you know, simple route combinations basically with this one. And you'll see how um, he's not quite sure what he's going to do. And you're going to see we're going to get up and over the top. Now, I want to show you one little trick um, that your opponent might be doing uh, with his defense. I want to show you how this is going to change how the defenders in match coverage respond. So if your opponent is messing with their zone drops, which most opponents will, you'll notice that it's going to actually change a little bit about how the match coverage works uh, in game. So I'm going to come back out in spread wide slot, and I'm going to come back out in curl wheel. And now what you're going to see is when I snap this ball uh, on the left side, it plays more like a traditional cover three. It's not this. It's not. It's really, really not even a match coverage anymore. You see that just by changing the zone drops. It completely changes how they play, and now I can hit this little curl route in the pocket in that window. Now, one thing you do need to be aware of is this becomes more of a traditional uh, cover three defense. And so what that means is I should be able to run standard cover three beaters um, right here on the right side um, to be able to beat that out of the mesh concept and out of some of the other concepts um, that I like to run. For example, fade stops. 
where I put that out route over there. Or if you have a Devontae Adams that has a route technician or route apprentice, you can put him on um, you can put him on uh, something else. But there you see now that route is wide open uh, from the gun trips, as you can see right there with that fade stop. So just a couple little tricks of the trade there. Um, came up against a cover three match, and it was tough to beat, to be honest. Um, I ended up losing the game, ended up not playing my best football, and you know truly did come back to bite me because I did not have a plan going into the game for how I was going to do against Cover 3 Match. So I uh, just want to let you know that is how you beat Cover 3 Match. If you want to join our text message uh, membership, I would highly encourage you to do that. It's completely free to join uh, the text message membership. And the membership includes basically one free tip every single week. And typically those tips are more in advance, um, more of an advanced tactic. Uh, whoops, Rogers, I don't know what happened to him on that play right there. But they're typically more of an advanced tactic or scheme. So like the last tip that I gave out was a 45-minute basically free offensive guide on the Arizona Cardinals gun cluster showing you everything that you need to know about how to leverage and how to use one of the best um, formations in the Madden 21 uh, world. The week before, I did a run defense from Big Nickel over G, Big Nickel over G that shows you how to stop every run in Madden. It's about 50 minutes in length. So we have tips like that all the time uh, that we drop. And some of, like I said, you know, those are a little bit more of the exclusive tips that we just drop on our text message uh, members. So if you want to be a part of that, Go ahead and just shoot me a text. My number's in the description. It's also uh, on your screen right there on that uh, right side of the screen. But we'd love for you to text in and get those free tips. And then last but not least, if you haven't joined the Discord yet, I'd highly encourage it. And if you want to get the full scheme from the Arizona Cardinals offensive ebook, I would highly encourage you to pick that up. That link is in the description. We've got over 125 pages of breakdowns on the offensive side of the ball and on the defensive side of the ball giving you an entire scheme that is really going to help you take your game to the next level. Thanks for watching today's video, and we will see you on stream tonight at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time.